Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Kyori. Welcome back to yet another Sniper Elite 5 gameplay guide video. And in today's one, I'm going to be going over the kill list challenge for Mission 8 Rubble and Ruin. So basically, you want to come to this location over here and we have to kill Shinji Yoshikawa. And basically, the general gist of it is to unlock the Type 14, you have to kill uh, Yoshikawa with a Japanese we weapon. So the Type 100 or a Type 14. Well, you can't kill him with a Type 14 because we haven't unlocked it yet. And the Type 100, I do have a guide video on how to unlock, so I will link that um, in the cards so you guys can go click on that if you haven't already. Alternatively, if you come to my location right here, which is a resistance safe cached location, there is an SMG workbench here, and as well as there is a Type 100 next to you, as well as a silenced Nambu pistol. So you don't have to go and unlock the um, the weapons. It's, um, yeah, they're already here for you. You just have to come to this um, cache location. All right, so now this place right here, this giant ass building will be completely and utterly just crowded with guys everywhere, yeah? So my, my solution to that is kill everyone. These guys are just coming in from when they spotted me from down uh, down further down the street. But basically, once everyone's dead, there's only two guys that actually... Sorry, three, correction. There's three guys that actually occupy this building, especially this wing over here. There's a sniper that'll be just here. Then the two officers, which are right there. There's one German officer, and then there's the um, Kashigawa guy who we have to kill or whatever his name is. And if, they've, if you go, like, hot and heavy... They'll actually start investigating and they'll actually come to like this window over here. Yes, yeah? so you can actually spot them. So all you have to do is run down here, crawl up this pipe and head through one of the windows. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll skip to when we're over there. Alrighty guys, as you can see, the guy we need to kill is right there. And all we need to do is shoot him once basically in the head with this Japanese weapon. So essentially, if you can get him to the window like this, all you have to do is shoot him in the head. But I'm not going to do that because that's uh, that's the easy way of doing things. We're gonna going to do things the fun way. So now the Japanese guy's alone. I'm just going to crawl this up this pipe. And then enter through this window. And then honestly, at this point, you, you'll, you'll still be carrying the uh, Type 100 from when you picked it up and honestly just unload into this guy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it's the easiest way to do it. And apparently I killed him with a testicle shot somehow. But um, but yeah, that's that's the easiest way to do it with the, uh, with the Japanese weapon. Honestly, in my opinion, it's not really worth, well, for me anyway, I don't really like the Type 14. Um, so it's not really worth it in my opinion, but, um, but yeah, here it is all the same. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.